what's going on youtube family i am back again with another video and you know what today's video is gonna be about it's gonna be about me cooking for y'all and making some bomb food for y'all to try out for yourselves i said in my intro that i was gonna do this so why not go ahead and do it today i didn't put out a couple of videos and they have not been cooking videos but i came up with a good starting recipe that i feel like y'all would like i used to make it a lot in college and it's actually based off of an anime Just, just a disclaimer, but it's not like anything weird. It's pretty standard and basic in my opinion. So we're going to hop into it. We're going to start cooking and I'm probably just walk y'all. I'm going to walk y'all through this whole thing. So with that being said, I'm not going to waste no more time. Let's jump into it. All right, I've never actually recorded in my kitchen. It's pretty small. It's not the biggest kitchen, but you know what? We're gonna make this shit work. What I'm going to be showing y'all how to make today is beef stew. Boy, if you don't get- Now, as unappealing as that may sound, trust me, it's fire. I'm, I'm telling you, it's good. So we're gonna start off by pretty much what vegetables and what ingredients I'm going to use in this video and also I don't know how often I'm gonna be in the, the camera it's more gonna probably be me doing the actions and stuff but with that being said we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into this and we're gonna just see how it come out it's my first one we're gonna just see what we're gonna see what happened all my stuff pretty much right here on the side of me and like I'll send a link to the um the actual recipe in the description if you want to like follow just follow along but this is pretty much everything you'll need i got the beef in the fridge the milk in the fridge and i got a couple of other things that i'm going to use just to like tweak the recipe so pretty much these are the vegetables that i'm going to be going in with i got my carrots right here celery a full onion and then I always put garlic in mine. I typically use the Spicy World garlic. This is the roasted version. It's a lot easier to me instead of like trying to chop up garlic. If you've ever chopped up garlic, that just becomes a pain in the ass to me. I'm just not gonna do that today. Okay, we got this nice, this nice pretty cool pot that I got right here. I just bought this specifically for this video, no other reason. So we're gonna take these vegetables, take some of the garlic. We're gonna also add um, some bay leaf, thyme, and we're going to put this into the pot and we're gonna get it to pretty much start slow cooking to get all of those, you know, flavors and stuff just going before you start moving forward into like putting the meat and everything in there. Electric, but I'm going to put mine at notch four if you got an electric stove notch four is about medium like it's not going to be overcooking and you're not going to be like burning your food so once this starts melting down which you can kind of hear it's like about to get started so once you start doing that you're going to take your vegetables once your your butter is melted the pot is warm you're going to take your onion celery garlic and carrots and you're going to put a bay leaf, your thyme, your salt, and your pepper all into the pot. And once you do that, you're going to pretty much saute your onions and all of your ingredients together until the onion is soft. So pretty much when you got everything, that is a huge leaf. All right, hold on. Let me get the focus right. Let me get the focus right. All right. Once you have everything in there, you should pretty much have your celery, salt, pepper, thyme, your bay leaf, this big leaf right here. And I put two, well, three, three teaspoons of garlic in there. Now, this is where I don't follow the recipe, okay? If you don't want to follow the recipe, this is what I use. In my cabinet, I have multiple different 
items that I usually put in my food most of which are salt free I don't really like to use a lot of salt only because I have high blood pressure in my family so I want to use things that won't really affect you know my high blood pressure later on in life so something that I would use depending on what I have in my food already is Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash is always salt free and it has a lot of different flavors that you can add to what you're already making it's in there. But I will use table blend. I will use Mrs. Dash tomato, basil, and garlic. And I will also use Chicago steak seasoning. Now this is just me, but I'm gonna go with a steak seasoning too you know, saute my meat in. So it'll have more flavor. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so, so far. Now, what I've done is I got the pan that I'm going to brown the meat in. The meat should be almost done defrosting. But what I also just made is pretty much the concoction. With right here in this bowl, obviously my little Nana's bowl wasn't good enough. So, I had to go ahead and I put one package of this sodium free beef bouillon cubes from Herbox. I did two and a half tablespoons of this this red red wine <laughs> vinegar and then I did two and a half cups of this beef broth, right? And then I did two and a half cups of water for the beef, the beef bouillon cube because it needs water in order to pretty much dissolve. Right now it's not dissolved because the water was not boiled, but we're also putting it into a piping hot pot. So with that being said, I'm gonna let this broth sit right here and I'm going to take care of the meat. So we're over here. All right, we're back here with the stuff. I'm going to use, once again, my table blend. I'm gonna put some of that on there. Season the meat real good. I can't stand when people do not season their meat. It is like the most infuriating thing in the world because this does not taste good, bro, with nothing on it. Karen, Susan, whoever. Um, no, whoever does this, they need to not, okay? Please season your meat, people. Even if it's, and don't just say salt and pepper as a seasoning. It's not, it's not good enough you need to have flavor i i just i don't understand so we season the meat all right now personally when i cook my meat i like to put butter or a little oil in the pan i tend not to because that well you know it's not good for you but if you want it to taste really good put some butter in the pan with your meat it'll taste a thousand times better all right so we're gonna move it over here got my pan I did put butter in it, don't judge me. All right, so pretty much what I'm doing right here is I'm browning the meat slightly before I put it and add it into the, you know, pretty much our sauteed vegetables right next to it. Um, the reason I saute my meat personally is because I just kind of want to make sure it's cooked all the way. Personally, I want my stuff to be cooked all the way. I, that is just me. I ain't finna be biting into no beef and I get blood and all that. And I, I'm good. I'm good, partner. A few, the Mrs. Dash that I showed you before to it and the salt and the pepper and whatnot. That's just to give the beef flavor. So the beef is not, that beef flavor is not overpowering your stew. You don't want the beef to be overpowering the stew. So you gotta just, you know, get that balance in there. You feel me? So, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to that. And then I'm going to take this right here. I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna add that to this. And then I'm gonna take this right here, which is tomato paste, by the way. All right, look at that. No salt added because we already added enough salt. Boom, take that joint. I'm um, add it right here, and then we're gonna stir it until the tomato paste dissolves, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. All right, we're back. All right, so what I've done so far, so you all are keeping up with me, I have taken the beef that was right there, 
and I added it right here. I also took our bouillon that was right here and I poured it in here. And as you can see, right there, boom, that's the tomato paste. Now, at this part, you want to just stir it in until everything is pretty much dissolved. I'm gonna tweak the heat a little bit just so we can start getting that going. You know, wanna get that, that simmer going so therefore everything is pretty much cooking all in together. So, so now that we're waiting for this pretty much to get done and um, well, it's over there. It's over there simmering real good, you know, it's in that. I love this pot. Do you see that cosmic pot, yo? This is, oh, and I bought this knife set specifically for this video as well. Out here just spending money, reckless as it, and we're waiting. I'm going to call and I'm going to wake up my mom because it's Saturday and I'm her child and she should be awake. So if she's smart, she won't answer the phone. Yeah, wake up. Just no, wait. I just needed to. I needed to ask you something. What? Hey, so I'm, I'm making a video. I'm making a video, and um, I'm making this beef, this beef stew. And um, I wanted to know if you would try it and cook for the twins. Yeah, I won't eat it though. I don't eat beef. Well, I mean, but you could use something else. Oh, okay. Come on. All right. At this point, you know, cutting your your potatoes. I was gonna say potatoes. Cutting your potatoes up. Um, getting the flour because we got to use all-purpose flour and you know two percent milk, and pretty much making that part of the recipe because what that's going to do is it's going to thicken your stew to where is it's a stew and not a soup. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and do that part and then I'll walk you all through it in just a second. I gotta call and wish my best friend a happy birthday, bro, while I peel these potatoes. <laughs> Yo. Bro, you ugly as hell, boy, no. <laughs> hey, <laughs> happy birthday, fool. Thank you, man. What's going on? Shit, man. I'm chilling in the crib. I just made breakfast. I'm finna chill, bro. You, <laughs> you made really have a birthday. Yeah, breakfast bro. Breakfast beer or something. Go crazy. Yeah. What? You finna go tea up? Finna go to the club? <laughs> right. Alone? <laughs> definitely, definitely finna tea up. Finna be walking around downtown. Like, where, right. where Right. Where everybody go? You know, oh, Roma. <laughs> right. <laughs> Lonely as hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's lucky cool though, because uh, I'm definitely chilling. Like it's, and I was talking to other folks too. Uh -huh. It's about like how consistency is key. You know what I mean? And I mean, you've been <laughs> fucking consistent with the videos, bro. Like, going crazy. And I'm just like, man, I need to do something like that because I haven't really ever did anything. But my schedule for releasing music has always been so, you know, chaotic and not really having a reason. So, that's why I was like, fuck it. I'm going to just drop a flip every Sunday for until the album drop, probably. Yeah. And yeah, get it up. You know what I mean? So I appreciate you for that. Hey, bro. I mean, shoot. You you the reason I even started doing the YouTube thing. So, <laughs> like, uh, I was like, I need to be a content creator like my boy. So, I mean, as long as we keeping each other, you know, going, bro, that's all that you can really, you know hope for it sure and i i listen to your flips every time you put one out boy i'll be on it so <laughs> Thank all right. you, man. yeah I'm bro, just, I'm like, just trying, bro. Stay with your videos, bro. man that's that's my homie that's my long time old friend bro like i'm talking about like kindergarten first grade type old friend bro we've been homie since forever g like you know, I had to call and wish my bro um, happy birthday and whatnot. He makes some of the best music, bro, ever. All right, so it's definitely been about 45 minutes. So what I did so far since then is you're going to take your all-purpose flour. Boom, all-purpose flour. But bam, you're gonna need that. Here, let me flip the camera. So you're gonna need the 
all-purpose flour. You're gonna need your milk. All right, you're gonna need this. You're going to take this all-purpose flour and you're going to measure it into, I believe it's like one eighth. So you would take one eighth all-purpose flour and then about a fourth of the milk. You're going to mix it in a bowl like so. I use a measuring cup to make sure everything's perfectly correct, but with mine, I did more than what you're gonna do, depending on how much you're making. You follow the recipe, one eighth, one fourth, you're gonna be good. You're gonna mix that up in this bowl right here. You're going to take the other fourth of your milk, and you're going to put it to the side. What you then will do with your fourth of milk is you're going to microwave it until it is hot and steamy, like so. So right here, it's hot, it's kind of boiling, and I am going to just simply pour that in here. And I'm going to stir it up really well, which is going to give it that overall creamy looking color, right? I already put my potatoes in there because I was kind of on a time crunch. So I already threw those in there. Just let it chill out because I have to make sure it's going to thicken up and then I also want my meat and potatoes to pretty much get tender and therefore that will make it an overall appetizing stew. So here is the final and last part to this video because I am not going to drop this thing again, I swear on my life. Here, this is what we're gonna do. BAM! Oh, oh my God. Hold on, let me get that, that focus so y'all can see that. Oh, ba bam BAM! Now, boom, you got everything. Milk, mix, egg, bowl. Get the egg. Watch this saucy crap. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that was ugly. All right, that's okay. That's all right, it's good. I ain't getting no shells in that. All right, rinse my hand real quick. Mm. Okay, we're gonna get this this mix over real quick. Get that one egg. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bear with me. I'm trying to open the package. Oh, oh, look at that. Uh, dumping it all on that egg. Mm. Uh. Okay. Uh, throw that away. All right, get that milk. That milk. Bear with me, bear with me. One third, oh, right there. Right there, baby. Right there. Uh, fill that joker up. We gonna boo doop Bloop. Uh, it's good, all right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, bear with me. We gonna get this joker right here. So we gonna just stir that up real good. Please. Oh my God, please cover the whole pan, please. Okay, okay, I think we, oh my gosh. Mm. 350, that's cool, all right, good. Mm. Slide that joke on the key. Okay, so about two hours later, this is what we got, the cornbread. Whew, look at that, golden brown. Yeah, I took a little bit out of that. Don't judge me, okay, I was hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and unveil the stew. So. That color is sort of what you should be going for. It's very tender. I've got to try the meat, the potatoes, everything is sitting good. So right here is what I am going to be eating. And pretty much, you know, this is my gaming fuel for today and possibly tomorrow. Hopefully you all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making this video. I will be doing more of these every single week. I'm gonna try and do at least one cooking video. I want to start doing more footage so I can, you know, just build my channel, but I'm going to title my cooking videos Gamer Fuel. I'm going for this sort of gaming channel whole type of thing, all of that, and it's going to be dope. It's going to be good. So look, I'm working on it. I'm going to get better at this editing and filming thing. I've been buying all different types of tools. So hopefully everything will get better and my quality will get better and you all will enjoy 
my content. So, with that being said and done, I'm about to eat because I'm starving. This is the first meal of the day, and I'm serving it up Tristan's way. Yes, that was a SpongeBob reference. All right, until then, I'll see y'all later. Peace out and enjoy your weekend.